Welcome to another edition of the Everlast Power Video Series. In this edition, we are going to take another look at the Power MTS 250S, a MIG, TIG, and stick welder from Everlast. It's the latest addition to the Everlast multi-process line. Today, we will demonstrate the setup and connection of the welder and its accessories. The Everlast MTS comes with about everything you need to weld and includes the following 25 series MIG gun, Euro Quick Connect for the MIG gun, 26 TIG torch with torch remote switch, stick torch, foot pedal, a ball type regulator, and a consumable starter kit for MIG and TIG. The welder comes with a NEMA 650 plug already installed. This is the standard welder plug in North America. Notice the three prong design. Now let's get the unit ready to weld. First locate the ball type regulator. The unit includes tubing to connect your welder to the regulator. Take the tubing and install the clamp as shown onto the regulator. Slide the tubing all the way onto the bar fitting and firmly seat it. Now fully tighten the clamp with a screwdriver and check the tubing for a good fit. Next, install the regulator onto the cylinder using your fingers to prevent cross-threading. Then take a wrench to snug the fitting. Be careful not to over-tighten the fitting. Now install the tubing and clamp onto the bar fitting located on the rear of the unit. Again, fully seat the tubing and then tighten the clamp. The Euro Quick Connect fitting makes the MIG gun easy to install. Simply line up the pins, push in, and then tighten the plastic nut with your fingers. Do not use any hand tools to tighten the nut. Now we're ready to install the MIG welding wire. Open the side of the welder to access the spool carrier. Unscrew the hand nut from the spool carrier by turning counterclockwise. Now, adjust the tension on the spool carrier with a socket head wrench. Some resistance is desirable to prevent despooling of the MIG wire. For most MIG operations, make sure the copper bus bar is connected to the positive terminal. Some flux core applications require negative polarity. Before installing the welding wire, make sure the correct drive roll size is selected. Unscrew the thumb screw retaining the lower drive roller. Slide the lower roller off the shaft to identify the correct groove. 0.8 millimeter will work for both 0.030 and 0.035 diameter wires. One millimeter will work for 0.040 and 0.045 diameter wires. Only 80 inch diameter rolls will fit the MTS 250S. For steel, this would be equivalent to a 10 to 12 pound roll of wire. An adapter can be made to fit the 4 inch rolls as well. Install the welding wire with wire rolling off from the bottom. On the spool carrier there is a locating pin which corresponds to a hole or slot located in the wire spool. Line them up and slide the spool onto the shaft. Check to make sure the spool will roll when turned but does not freewheel. Now spin the hand nut down onto the spool carrier and hand tighten. Take a small wire cutter and snip the welding wire loose from the side of the spool. While you are doing this, be sure to keep your hand on the back side of the spool to prevent despooling and uncoiling of the wire. Next, make sure the wire tensioner is released and begin to feed the wire into the wire feed assembly. Feed first into the metal pickup tube, then guide it down onto the lower drive roller. Feed it several inches into the brass power connector. Then lower the top drive roller onto the bottom, making sure the wire is still in the groove. Raise the spring loaded tensioner and retighten the tension according to the amount required. Typically, more tension is required for steel and stainless than for aluminum. Turn the welder on and select the MIG process. Then press the trigger on the MIG gun to feed the wire through the gun. Remove the shielding nozzle and the tip if necessary. For MIG and stick processes, the work clamp should always be installed in the negative connector. Line up the tab and groove on the connectors, slide the connector in, twist clockwise about one quarter turn to secure it. 
to weld and stick mode, connect the torch to the positive connector. Again, slide the connector in and twist about a quarter turn clockwise to secure it. To weld in TIG mode, the work clamp should be installed into the positive connector. Next, take the TIG torch and install it into the negative connector. With TIG, the torch will always be installed as electrode negative. Connect the TIG torch gas line to the quick connect mounted above the MIG connection. During MIG welding, do not leave the TIG torch installed. Finally, connect either the torch remote switch or the foot pedal to the 7-pin connector. Tighten the coupling finger tight only. This completes our setup tutorial. If you have any questions, please give us a call at the number listed at the end of the video.